everyone. My name is Aaron Ostrovitz. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Domosio. As I'm, we're going to talk about training learning, let's start with a quick exercise. So please, can you raise your hand if you think that we all learn in the same way? Okay. No one? Okay, well, that's a fact. Uh, we all learn in a different way. And when we look what is going on corporate training, we, uh, we are delivering the same training to everyone. It's a one-size-fits-all learning experience. So let's continue a little bit with another exercise. So please, can you help me to complete this exercise? So I learn, you learn, he, she learns, we all. Well, actually, we all forget. Uh, research, uh, research in cognitive science shows us that we forget up to 80% eight, eight, after one month. So imagine all the training you're paying to your, to, your, to your employees that it's lost, your investment is lost. So we are in front of two challenges, how to personalize and adapt to learning, and how to make sure that what is learned stays on employers. So that's why in Domosio we are connecting cognitive science, the way we learn, with big data and artificial intelligence to create adaptive learning tech solutions. The three main solutions are an adaptive learning algorithm that is going to personalize learning experience for better learning, to help people to learn uh, faster. Then we have the learning consolidation plans that is going to ask the right question at the right moment for longer retention. And finally, we have all the data analytics and all the dashboards to measure the learning outcomes. And does it work? Yes. Our clients, when they use our solution, they use 30% less resources to achieve the same objective. They learn faster. And when they, they use our learning consolidation solution, they remember up to almost 80% after three months. If you check, if without, without using our solutions, they remember less than 30%. So, who are our clients? We are selling to corporate training and also e-learning platforms. We are based in Paris and we are already operating in France, Spain and Switzerland. And our clients can integrate our technology directly to their solutions with an API or just use our platform. So who is behind Domosio? It is a complementary and international team. Uh, actually, I'm not French. I'm, I'm half Spanish, half uh, Argentinian. And we all speak French, English, Spanish, and Arab. So with uh, Benoit, my partner, we created a company in 2013. In uh, 2015, we already had a first round that allowed us in uh, 2016 to go international. And the first semester of this year, uh, we have increased, we have multiplied by seven all the revenues of last year. So we really going fast. So we have the technology, we have clients, we have traction, and we want to accelerate. That's why we are raising four million euros. So if you want to join the adventure, it will be a pleasure to answer all your questions. Thank you very much. generating on e-learning platforms that allow us to personalize the learning. So just to give you another example, Viteo analyzed the data to retargeting and, and show you the right uh, publicity, advertise. We're doing the same in the same way to have a better learning for that person. And so how much of it is technology and how much of it is a method? What do you say? How much technology and how much method? Uh, I mean, if you have bad content, if the content is not good, even if we add our technology, it's not going to work. So there is there are things to do on terms of methodology and pedagogy of the content, but even without our technology, you have to do that. So let's say it's 60% uh, 
60-70% of technology, but without the other, it's not going to work. So does that have an influence on your business model? Uh, actually, no, not because we, we help them to, to, to use the right uh, methodology and pedagogy to create the content. Uh, E-learning or content that was not good before using our technology is not going to be good using our technology, so there's no real no effect. is respective to your corporate customers or your customers. You say you have corporate customers, academics, e-learning platforms and so on. Uh, in terms of proportion, in terms of go-to-market strategy, what is your preferred go-to-market channel for, for hitting your market? We are two uh, strategies. One is publishers, educational publishers, and the second one is corporate. That's the domain. E-learning platforms, normally they come to see us because they want to integrate our technology. And finally, all the, what is the academics, uh, it's more about working with the uh, academic institutions, working with the corporate or with the e-learning platforms. So you guys are talking with people like Coursera or Open Classroom or...? Actually, we're talking with the clients of Coursera that want to integrate our technology in, in Coursera. Or directly to HR departments and uh, learning and development uh, departments. Thank you. question uh, how how dependent on culture and language is the adaptive learning in other, in other words how scalable is your business uh, actually uh, for example for the different we, we already have clients uh, in Spain in France in Switzerland using French Spanish English we are content agnostic so there's no the, the scalability is very easy which is only technology Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.